The series begins with a woman named Ji Won, who is in her 40s and feeling very weak in the hospital because she has cancer. At that time was springtime, a time when everyone hopes for happiness. But Ji Won feels sad about her illness. She also feels unhappy because her husband doesn't show her love. Not long after, Ji Won's best friend Su Min comes to visit her in the hospital. There Su Min gives Ji Won encouragement and tries to calm her down so she won't give up. At the same time, Ji Won starts to suspect that her husband is cheating on her because he sent a message meant for someone else. Ji Won feels grateful for the support from Su Min because Su Min is the only family Ji Won has left since her parents passed away when she was a teenager. In the afternoon, Ji Won went through chemotherapy and during that time, her doctor told her she might only have 6 to 12 months left to live. She remembered the tough times she faced after marrying her rude and lazy husband, Mean One. At that time, Ji Won also felt pressure from Mean One's family, because they hadn't had any children yet. Even though Ji Won was sick, Mean One kept insisting that she continue working and taking care of the household, while he decided to stop working so he could focus on studying stocks. One day, Ji Won got a call from the hospital saying that her husband hadn't paid their bills. But when they tried to reach Mean One on his phone, he didn't answer. So Ji Won decided to go home. On the way home, she got into a taxi with a driver who could see how much Ji Won was struggling. At that time, he took her on a different route and gave her some advice, encouraging her to choose a different path for her life. Shortly after, Ji Won was shocked when she got home and discovered that Mean One had been having an affair with Su Min, which has visited her in the hospital. This betrayal hit Ji Won hard because she had always thought Su Min was a good friend. What made it worse was that both they had known about Ji Won's illness for a while and had taken out insurance. If Ji Won were to die, Mean One would receive a large sum of money as compensation. Feeling overwhelmed by everything, Ji Won became angry with Mean One and decided she would report him to the police for insurance fraud. Hearing that, Su Min begged for her forgiveness, saying it was a mistake, but Ji Won didn't believe her. Su Min even told Ji Won that she needed to accept the situation because she was also going to die eventually. Ji Won felt like Su Min was only pretending to be kind. Then Su Min suggested Ji Won should let other people live happily according to their fate, but Ji Won found it hard to accept. At that moment, Ji Won tried to attack Su Min, who had said something hurtful to her. But instead of helping his wife, Min Won sided with Su Min and even tried to take her away. He got so angry that he almost hit Ji Won and in his rage, he pushed her into a glass table, causing her death. But something miraculous happened at that moment of death. When Ji Won opened her eyes again, she found herself back in time, 10 years earlier when she was still dating Mean One. Suddenly, she realized she had traveled back to 2013, facing the same betrayal once again. Her friends were surprised to see Ji Won grabbing Mean One's hair and scolding him, not understanding why she was so upset. Then, when Ji Won saw her boss, Ji Yuk, she realized he would become the CEO in the future. He kindly took her home and gave her some money because she had left the office suddenly without her bag and jacket. Ji Won couldn't believe it all wasn't a dream. Then she remembered the banknotes given by the mysterious taxi driver. Ji Won suddenly realized that the driver was like her deceased biological father, giving her a second chance at life. Overwhelmed with emotion, she couldn't help but cry. That's when Mean One approached Ji Won. He asked her how she was feeling after the chaos at the office. Then he invited her to a shop and wondered if she might be pregnant because of her emotional state. Ji Won remembered how Mean One had suspected her of being pregnant before because she often felt sick. However, it turned out she only had gastritis. Back then, Ji Won wanted to end their relationship, but Mean One didn't want to because he believed she was the perfect wife for him. He saw her as a trustworthy career woman who could take care of his family. On a quiet street, Ji Won screams because Mean One is starting to scare her. She asks for help from people nearby, and eventually, they end up at the police station. The police think it's just a fight between lovers and tell them to go home. At that time, Ji Won decides she needs to plan her future away from the two people who want to hurt her. The following day, she starts learning about stocks, using her memories of the future to try to make money. She buys a lot of books about stocks and runs into Ji Yuk. He thought Ji Won would stop working after marrying Mean One. But there, Ji Won doesn't deny it. Soon after, they go to lunch together because Ji Won wants to apologize for causing Ji Yuk to get burned during the commotion. When Ji Yuk takes off his glasses, Ji Won starts to see him as more than just her boss. The next day, Ji Won tries to stay away from Mean One. 
she remembers hurting her knee in the break room, but while trying to avoid him, she ends up hurting her knee again in another accident. This makes her realize that some things are meant to happen, but she can make her life better in the next one. While getting drinks at a cafe, G1 sees something that makes her think she needs someone to take charge of her life. That someone is Su-Mean, who has always wanted what G1 has. The next day, G1 starts planning so that Su-Mean can take control of her fate and change her future. Then, while riding the elevator, G Yuk joins with a serious expression. G1 invites him to continue their discussion from yesterday. She shoves in the money her father gave her as motivation, affirming she won't stop working. Shortly after, ji Yuk asks if she's free on the weekend. But before ji Wan can reply, su Min interrupts, claiming ji Wan already has plans with her. Soon after, su Min invites ji Wan to a reunion event, but ji Wan declines, upsetting su Min. Meanwhile, ji Yuk checks the venue for the reunion. At that time, ji Wan brings him pain medication, which Min Wan sees, making him believe ji Yuk is the reason ji Wan wants to end the relationship. But there, ji Wan tries to reassure Min Wan and explains that she's noticed changes in his behavior lately. Unfortunately, their conversation is interrupted by their co-worker Yang Ju Ran. Then during lunch with Su Min and Min Wan, ji Wan remembered a time when Su Min accidentally spilled food on her, causing embarrassment. This time, ji Wan dodged and tried to trip Su Min as she walked by. Suddenly, Su Min fell, spilling her food on Min Wan's expensive shirt. In that moment, G1 pretended to care about Mean One and went to find tissues in the bathroom. But in the bathroom, G1 met an employee named Pion who needed sanitary napkins. There, G1 helped her and even lent her jacket to cover a stain on her pants. They became friends and G1 invited Hyeon to join them at the table. At that moment, Hyeon noticed how Su Min looked down on G1. Then, while discussing Mean One's ruined clothes, Su Min uses her charm to persuade him not to demand compensation because the shirt was expensive. Su Min's seductive nature becomes evident when she flirts with Mean One in a crowded elevator, making him feel confident. Later, Su Min notices Ji Wan making a proposal to Mrs. Young, which had been rejected by Mr. Kim before. Mrs. Young seems unenthusiastic, having been rejected by Mr. Kim previously. However, Ji Wan insists she reads the proposal. At that time, Ji Wan tries to convince Mrs. Young, claiming Mr. Kim never reviewed the proposal properly and only pretended to work. On the other hand, Su Min, wanting to secure a permanent position, sees an opportunity in Ji Wan's proposal. The next day, Ji Wan handed in the proposal she had given to Mr. Kim before. She only made copies but didn't change the content. Ji Wan and Mrs. Young teamed up for the project, along with Hee Yan. Meanwhile, Su Min secretly read Ji Wan's proposal and convinced Mr. Keen to go along with Ji Wan's idea. Then, while at her desk, Ji Wan noticed a pair of earrings Su Min had given her. She remembered a future where Su Min gave her the same earrings for a reunion. But thinking about it made her feel troubled because some friends had accused her of copying Su Min and taking what Su Min had. Because of this, Ji Wan decided not to attend the reunion this time. A little while later, Min Wan and Su Min messaged Ji Wan, saying they both planned to stay overnight. Despite feeling annoyed with them, Ji Wan saw a chance to bring Su Min and Min Wan closer together. She prepared drinks to create a romantic atmosphere, but Su Min ended up canceling her plans to stay over. Meanwhile, when Ji Wan got home with a bottle of wine, she found Min Wan already there, wearing just a towel and ready to spend the night. Luckily, a fast food delivery distracted them, and she managed to get him to leave her apartment. The next day, Ji Wan went to the reunion. Her friends were surprised by how much she had changed, now looking graceful and charming. What they didn't know was that Hee Yan had helped Ji Wan. Previously, Ji Wan had invited Hee Yan to eat together, and Hee Yan found out about the reunion. Then she took Ji Wan shopping and to a beauty salon, helping her choose a dress and hairstyle that suited her well. Ji Wan loved her new look, feeling more youthful. Hee Yan even lent her real earrings, unlike the ones Su Min had given her.
다들 오랜만이다. 와. 누군지 기억도 안 나서 초면이나 다름없는데. In the restroom, G1 overheard her friends talking as if she had mistreated Sumin. They claimed G1 got her job with Sumin's help. This time, G1 decided to speak up. She proudly told them she had been an assistant manager for seven years, embarrassing them with the truth about her success. Then G1 said that while Sumin was just a temporary worker, she intentionally embarrassing G1 by giving her fake earrings. After saying that G1 left the restroom, feeling overwhelmed by her friend's accusations, they blamed G1 for Sumin's breakup with her high school boyfriend, Uno, even though he actually loves G1. Suddenly, Uno arrived and revealed the truth that he and Sumin were never dating. Turns out Ji Yuk had invited Unho to the reunion to clear up past misunderstandings. After a long time, Unho greeted Ji Won, his first love. He stopped her from leaving, making things awkward. Just as Ji Won was about to leave, Unho gathered his courage and confessed his feelings for her. Upon hearing that, Ji Won was surprised by his confession, but before she could respond, her phone rang. It was Ji Yuk needing her help with the group's advertising budget. He asked her to meet him at a hotel. Before leaving, Uno asked for Ji-won's number, and she gave it to him. Together with Ji-yuk, Ji-won met with Director Wang about the advertising project. But Director Wang didn't seem to agree with their ideas. There, Ji-won tried to explain that Ji-yuk's idea was good, but she ended up being scolded by Director Wang. On their way home, Ji-yuk offered to walk Ji-won home and even promised to treat her to dinner. At first, Ji-won hesitated, but Ji-yuk convinced her by offering to treat her. Meanwhile, Min Won kept calling Ji Won, and she spotted him heading towards her house. Panicking, Ji Won quickly lowered her seat to hide. As Min Won walked, he noticed Su Min sitting alone and upset because the reunion didn't go well. He realized that Su Min wasn't as genuine as she seemed, being two faced and trying to bring down her own friend. Su Min's friends even left her alone at the event. At that moment, Su Min cried, feeling abandoned and blaming Ji Won for leaving her. Soon after, Min Won and Su Min tried to enter Ji Won's apartment, but turns out she had changed the password. Suddenly, Min Won got distracted by Su Min's beauty. Meanwhile, Ji Won and Ji Yuk went to have a cup of coffee. There, Ji Won had suggested Ji Yuk wear contact lenses instead of glasses. The next day at the office, Ji Won's friends were amazed by her change. They didn't even realize she was the most beautiful employee there. Ji Yuk was also surprised and dropped something nervously. Mrs. Young was impressed by Ji Yuk's fresh appearance too. Meanwhile, Min Won felt happy when his friends told him that Ji Won was now the center of attention because of her beauty. However, he worried she might be interested in someone else, especially Ji Yuk. Suddenly, Min Won tried to kiss her, but Ji Won accidentally spilled coffee on his pants. Not long after, Su Min come apologized for the reunion incident, and Ji Won pretended to forgive her, even though she knew Su Min's true character. Then, Ji Won leaked her plans to meet Unho to uncover more truth. When she got home, she couldn't stop thinking about seeing Hee Yeon and Ji Yuk shopping and hugging like lovers at the bus stop. Feeling sorry for Hee Yeon, who had feelings for Ji Yuk, Ji Won also wondered how to approach Ji Yuk. However, at that time, he seemed to have experienced something strange, as he had supposedly died in the future, but was now alive years before the incident. Suddenly, the scene shifts back to 2005, when Ji Yuk finished celebrating the holidays with his friends. At that time, they spotted a drunk woman, and when a guy with bad intentions approached her, Ji Yuk intervened. He invited Ji Won to sit in the park and chat. There, Ji Won shared about her life, that her father passed away three months ago, she recently broke up with her boyfriend, and feels like she's drifting in life with no support. She mentioned having a friend who's never there when she needs her. At the same time, Ji Yuk talked about his family that his dad were married, and now he has a younger half-sister. Then, they toasted to relax. When Ji Won accidentally touched Ji Yuk's hand, it felt comforting because it was warm. After that, they slept in the field until morning. But when Ji Yuk woke up, Ji Won was gone. Then, while on campus, Ji Yuk, who had just finished judo training, noticed a student feeding a cat. He recognized her as the woman he spent time with the previous night, who happened to be a senior student. Every day, he secretly fed the cat when Ji Won didn't have time. He even built a shelter for the cat to keep it dry during the rain, showing how much he cared for it. Despite his feelings, Ji Yuk lacked the confidence to approach Ji Won first. Several years later, he was thrilled to learn that Ji Won worked at his company. 
However, he hasn't had the chance to talk to her, because she already has a boyfriend. The scene back again in the present. Now, ji Yuk wakes up and reflects on his dream about missing his chance with ji Won. Determined not to let it happen again, he heads to the office, surprising his co-workers with his new appearance. He tells ji Won that he feels better thanks to her advice. Mean One, noticing the closeness between ji Won and ji Yuk, decides to talk to ji Won about it. He's concerned about their relationship. However, ji Won reveals that ji Yuk already has a girlfriend. Mean One finds this hard to believe, thinking that a guy might cheat even if he's in a relationship. When ji Yuk asked ji Won out to dinner at his office, she declined, citing personal reasons. It turns out, she wanted to meet Unho to discuss why he used to dislike her so much. Then ji Won discovered that Unho was upset because she allegedly sent him a harsh rejection letter. However, ji Won was confused because she didn't remember writing such a letter. Then ji Won realized that Unho was trying to reconnect with her. To deter him, she mentioned having a boyfriend already. Because of that, Unho ended up drinking alone, feeling frustrated after being rejected before expressing his feelings. In the evening, ji Won was walking home when she felt stomach cramps because she drank on an empty stomach. She wanted to stop by the pharmacy. While walking, she felt someone following her. It was Mean One, which startled her. Mean One suspected Ji Won of cheating because she looked tidy. He asked about her activities that night. Suddenly, Ji Yuk appeared and confronted Mean One, thinking he was a coward for picking on women. Ji Won tried to stop the fight, and eventually, Mean One left. After calming down, Ji Won and Ji Yuk sat together. Ji Won asked why Ji Yuk was always worried about her. She felt uncomfortable thinking his feelings might be misunderstood by Hyun. To clarify, Ji Yuk called Hyun, proving they were siblings with different mothers. Ji Won felt embarrassed and apologized. Then, Ji Yuk confessed his feelings for Ji Won. Surprisingly, he fainted in her arms. Shortly after, Ji Won quickly took him to the hospital, where they learned he fainted due to exhaustion and drinking too much. Despite all of this, Ji Yuk was not worried about himself, but about Ji Won who said her stomach hurt. But at that time, ji Won didn't want to see a doctor alone, so they both went together. There, ji Yuk offered to take ji Won home, but she refused because she didn't want her boyfriend to misunderstand. Even though ji Yuk liked ji Won, he didn't pressure her. He didn't want her to feel unsure. Instead, he kindly opened the taxi door for her. ji Won had never experienced such sweetness from her ex, Mean Won. ji Won couldn't sleep after ji Yuk's words that day. The next morning, she rushed to work. On the way, Unho, a friend, offered her coffee from his restaurant. Ji Yuk felt jealous seeing them close to each other near the office. That evening, Su Min noticed that Mean One seemed sad because he was having trouble with his relationship with Ji Won. At that time, Su Min tried to comfort him and fix his messy appearance. She acted like she cared, but when Mean One tried to kiss her, Su Min pretended to be distracted because she couldn't betray Ji Won, especially since Mean One was Ji Won's boyfriend. Later, Mean Won only escorted Su Min home. On the rooftop of their workplace, Ji Yuk scolded Mean Won for trying to smoke, reminding him of the rule against dating co workers. At that moment, Ji Yuk insisted that Mean Won should break up with Ji Won and not hurt her anymore, as Ji Yuk himself had feelings for Ji Won. However, hearing Ji Yuk's words made Mean Won angry, but he couldn't do anything when Ji Yuk threatened him and twisted his arm. Later, Ji Won met with Mean Won. But she was confused by his attitude, as he seemed to have forgotten about what happened the night before. There, Ji Won told Mean One that she couldn't have lunch with him because Mr. Kim had invited her to meet him. Then, Ji Won came up with an idea to give her credit card to Mean One so he could take Su Min out for lunch. She thought something was up between them. Soon after, Su Min and Mean One went to a fancy steakhouse because Mean One was acting like a nice guy, which impressed Su Min even more. Meanwhile, when Ji Won was about to have lunch with Mr. Kim, she realized he had ulterior motives. He wanted to use her proposal to get a promotion. When she got back to the office, she messaged Ji Yuk from her work account. That night, Ji Yuk asked Ji Won to dinner. Hearing that, Ji Won was unsure, but Ji Yuk assured her it wasn't a date. During the dinner, Ji Won asked why Ji Yuk was helping her so much. He simply said he wanted to help without expecting anything in return. He took her to a judo training ground wanting her to learn judo. Ji Yuk trained Ji Won so she could defend herself against someone she introduced as a campus friend. 잡고 잡고 그렇죠? 넘기다. 
자, 소리를 더 크게 내봐요. 야! 야! But when Ji-won tried to turn ji Yuk's big body around, she found it hard. Even though ji Yuk let her win to make her happy, Ji-won slammed him with all her might. Afterward, ji Yuk took Ji-won home and encouraged her to be brave when facing her enemies. Back at the office, Ji-won pretended to apologize to Mr. Keen for what happened before. She also promised to revise the proposal. Meanwhile, su Min tried to get close to Mrs. Hyun after being included in their project. Previously, su Min had persuaded Mr. Keen to include her in the project, which went along with Mr. Keen's wishes. Director Won was happy because he was on the cover model of the project. He told Mr. Keen that he was going abroad. Then, Ji Won took advantage of Director Wong's upcoming trip. He was seen scolding a flight attendant for not allowing another passenger to sit next to him. He even shouted at someone loudly, disturbing other passengers. Director Wong also scolded and hit a steward who reprimanded him. Someone secretly filmed the incident as the plane was about to take off. The next day, everyone heard about Director Wong's terrible behavior, which put the products he was in charge of at risk of being thrown away. Ji Won was relieved because her plan worked. Later, Ji Won was on the building's roof, enjoying the evening breeze when Ji Yuk showed up unexpectedly. After discussing recent events, Ji Won shared her plans for her future. Soon after, Ji Yuk invited Ji Won to his apartment, where they talked about their plans. He suggested the idea of Ji Won running away to avoid everything. However, Ji Won disagreed, saying running away wasn't the right choice. She believed she needed to figure out if her fate had passed on to someone else. Then, Ji Won asked how Ji Yuk could go back to the past since he had died and returned in 2013. Ji Yuk explained that he had fallen asleep and then woke up this year. However, the truth was that he had been in an accident after attending Ji Won's funeral. Then, while riding in a taxi, Ji Yuk met a strange driver who talked about getting a second chance to make choices. After hearing about the head of planning being transferred to his department, Ji Yuk rushed to the office. It turned out the man was Mr. Lee who was working with Ji Yuk's grandfather. Mr. Lee was assigned to monitor Ji Yuk because of his connection with Ji Won. Ji Yuk felt confused about everything happening. He linked Ji Won's words to his death, finding it odd that Ji Won's father sent him back in time. Feeling overwhelmed, Ji Yuk went to a restaurant where Unho worked. He got drunk, and Unho called someone using Ji Yuk's phone. Not long after, he had arrived to pick up Ji Yuk and was surprised by his behavior. She also met Onho, who was known for his unique cooking style. The next day, Ji Yuk was practicing shooting when Chairman Yu called him. Chairman Yu wanted to discuss a business marriage he was planning, involving a woman named Yu Ra. He told Ji Yuk to get married soon because Yu Ra had helped resolve a case at their company. Hearing that, Ji Yuk remained silent, showing he didn't agree with his grandfather's orders. In his office, Min Won talked to Ji Won about taking back money he had given her for shares. However, Ji Won knew Min Won planned to use the money to impress women. She lied, saying she had put the money into insurance. This made Min Won angry. Then Ji Won mentioned she still had savings they could use and suggested they all go on a picnic over the weekend. A few days later, they had the picnic together. Meanwhile, Su Min and Min Won seemed to be getting closer even in front of Ji Won. Su Min didn't mind showing her affection for Min Won. Suddenly, Ji Won received a call from Unho, not Mrs. Young asking her to meet outside the office. At the same time, Unho wanted to give Ji Won flowers. On the other hand, Ji Yuk noticed their closeness from inside the office. Later, Ji Won discussed plans with Ji Yuk, including involving Su Min and Min Won. There, Ji Yuk mentioned Mr. Lee joining the company, ordered by his grandfather. Mr. Lee will be Ji Yuk's companion from now on. Then, Ji Yuk assured Ji Won he would help her whenever she needed it. He often visited Unho's restaurant to assess if Unho was the right match for Ji Won. Hearing that, Unho was puzzled by Ji Yuk's behavior. The next day, Ji Yuk announced a workshop activity. Ji Won suggested that Hee Yan organize the workshop this time. Hee Yan was thrilled about this idea. At the location, she organized a game to decide the best team. Then, she placed the number one flag in a challenging spot, and employees aimed to get it. When Su Min overheard that the flag was in the river, she asked Min Won for help. Ji Won remembered how Su Min had used tricks to win last year's workshop by seducing Mr. Kim. Ji Won realized that Su Min always used cunning methods to achieve her goals. While Ji Won was heading to the river, she met Ji Yuk. 
She didn't want to bother him with her personal matters, but Ji Yuk showed her a heart-shaped picture, which he believed was a message from his late father. Then, Ji Won remembered how her own father used to give her pocket money with a heart picture. Now she saw Ji Yuk as someone she could rely on whenever she needed help. Ji Won just wanted to find happiness on her own terms. She decided to swim into the water to get the flag. Meanwhile, Ji Yuk overheard He Yan saying that the river was off limits because it was deep and full of moss. He rushed to the river, worried about Ji Won swimming there. When Ji Yuk reached the river, he saw Ji Won slipping and quickly rescued her. G1 managed to grab the number one flag after a struggle with Sumin. At that time, Hyun congratulated G1 on earning a spot in a cozy tent for the night. Soon after, Sumin approached G1 and expressed her feelings, saying G1 had been rude to her. G1 admitted she didn't like Su Min and even started to hate her. She was tired of Su Min's behavior and constant demands for things that G1 had. G1 wanted to keep her distance because she was going to marry Min One and couldn't always be tied to Su Min. After that, she left Su Min alone, which made Su Min even angrier, thinking G1 was trying to take Min One away from her. As the night grew late, Min One, who was drunk, noticed Su Min watching him. He interpreted it as her signaling to meet in a quiet place. Su Min confessed her anxiety about their relationship being hindered by Ji Won. Under the influence of alcohol, Min Won disregarded their status and focused on the moment. Feeling victorious, Su Min embraced Min Won while Ji Won, witnessing her boyfriend's behavior, couldn't help but cry. Shortly after, Ji Yuk approached Ji Won, urging her to leave. He reassured her, saying she shouldn't regret anything as it was her decision from the start. After calming down, Ji Won thanked Ji Yuk for his support feeling less burdened. The next day, Min Won approached Ji Won and asked about Su Min's whereabouts. Pretending not to know, he invited Ji Won to have breakfast together. From afar, Su Min watched their closeness, feeling even more jealous. After a while, the company's workshop ended, and everyone took the bus home. Ji Won was confused by Min Won's behavior. She couldn't understand why he hadn't broken up with her, especially after what happened between him and Su Min last night. At that time, Ji Won realized her boyfriend wasn't as nice as she thought. Back home, Su Min tore up all the photos she had of Ji Won. She was determined to steal Min Won away from Ji Won. The next day at work, Su Min and Min Won were assigned to manage a food stand in a mall. As they set up, Su Min kept teasing Min Won, even going as far as removing the allergy labels from the products. Min Won was seen following Su Min because he was attracted to her revealing clothes. However, their actions were interrupted when his phone rang, informing him of a problem with a customer. On the other hand, while Su Min was busy chatting, she forgot to put allergy labels on the products, causing a visitor to have an allergic reaction. Upon knowing that, Min Won took the person to the hospital and paid the bill using his own money to keep it a secret. Su Min was surprised by the amount of money he had. He also mentioned making a profit from his shares. The next day, Min Won looked frustrated and talked to Ji Won about the shares. Ji Won, who already knew about it, didn't pay much attention. Soon after, he met with Su Min to discuss their secret relationship. He asked Su Min to remember him as a beautiful memory, knowing he would soon marry Ji Won. That night, Min Won invited Ji Won to have a drink together. He talked about wanting to get married soon and have a happy family. But Ji Won realized Min Won was trying to use her to pay off his debt, because he was now struggling financially. Meanwhile, Ji Won was at Ji Yuk's house playing with his cat and discussing how to get Min Won to marry someone, but not her, and she wanted to be Su Min. Then, they talked about Min Won's behavior towards Ji Won in the past, like how he proposed to her with a simple cake on her birthday. Ji Yuk thought about organizing Min Won's proposal to Ji Won. He rented a villa by the lake and arranged a party with their closest friends. It turned out Ji Yuk was the one behind the party, pretending he wanted to cheer up Ji Won because of Mr. Kim's case. Soon after, Ji Won went to get some fresh air by the lake when suddenly Su Min appeared, asking for forgiveness. But Ji Won remembered everything Su Min had done to her and said she couldn't understand what Su Min wanted anymore. 
Then, Jiwon decided to cut ties with Su Min. As Jiwon was leaving, Su Min shouted her name and then threw herself into the lake. Jiwon saw this and jumped in to help. But unexpectedly, Su Min pulled Jiwon further into the deeper part of the lake. Meanwhile, Ji Yuk, who was watching from afar, hurried to check on them. Once they were safe, he asked what happened. There, Ji Wan said Su Min was drunk and slipped. As it was nighttime, they went back to their rooms. Ji Wan chose to drink the hot chocolate Ji Yuk gave her. Later, Ji Yuk found Ji Wan awake, and they talked about the incident. Ji Wan shared how Su Min smiled, as if it wouldn't be scary if they both died there. Both Ji Wan and Ji Yuk were surprised when He Yan came out for a drink of water. Ji Yuk quickly suggested they hide behind a wall. Little did he know, that same night, Su Ming snuck into Mean One's room to tease him. At first, Mean One was hesitant, fearing they'd get caught. But Su Ming insisted until Mean One couldn't refuse. Meanwhile, Ji Yuk told Ji Wan he had a surprise for her. He took her to board a cruise ship, reassuring her that everything would be okay. He even wished her a happy birthday. There, Ji Wan admitted it was the best birthday she'd ever had. The next day, Ji Wan showed off the engagement ring on her finger at the office. Her friends congratulated her on her engagement to Mean One. At home, Ji Wan started sorting through things to keep and throw away before moving out. The doorbell interrupted her, and she found Su Min there with a gift before the wedding. Su Min also invited her to a cooking class, which Ji Wan agreed to since it was where Mean One's mother had taken classes. In a different place, Ji Yuk got scolded by his grandpa for spending money on a girl who already had a boyfriend. Ji Yuk said sorry and gave his grandpa a hug. The next day, there was a fuss at Mean One's house because they were going to need Ji Wan. Soon after, they all went to a restaurant. Ji Wan arrived a bit late and shocked everyone with her impolite appearance because she wore heavy makeup and revealing clothes. They talked and Ji Wan answered questions calmly. When Mean One's mom talked about the rules of marrying her son, things got heated when she insulted Ji Wan's dad. Unable to take it anymore, Ji Wan pretended to be confident and called her aunt. She said Mean One's mom shouldn't insult other people's kids because they're all equally important to their families. After that, she called off the wedding and left abruptly. Shortly after, Mean One followed Ji Wan, wanting an explanation. When he asked, she only said she wanted to break up and used a self-defense move Ji Yuk had taught him. When Mean One got home, his mom scolded him, blaming him for everything. He went to see Ji Wan because he didn't want the wedding to be canceled. But when he knocked on her apartment door, a big scary man answered. He learned Ji Wan had moved. Turns out, she moved into the same building as Ji Yuk. He Yan and Ji Yuk helped Ji Wan settle in and brought her things she needed. On the way home, He Yan asked Ji Yuk about his strange behavior towards Ji Wan. Ji Yuk said he just wanted to help her because she had been kind to him. The next day, Mean Wan was at the office, still upset with Ji Wan from their argument the day before. But he didn't expect Ji Wan to publicly slap him multiple times. She accused him of cheating and even showed underwear she claimed to find in his car. Then, Mean One remembered his inappropriate actions with Su Min before the family meeting and Su Min panicked. She'd think about Mean One's scandal and afraid it will be exposed. Suddenly, Ji Wan threw her engagement ring, destroying the diamond and rumors about Mean One having an affair spread. At that time, Mean One blamed Su Min for being careless, but Su Min was confused because the underwear wasn't hers. Ji Wan had lied about the evidence to provoke Mean One. Angry, Mean One told Su Min he didn't want to break up with Ji Wan because he had only been playing around with Su Min. Mean One realizes Ji Wan is more sophisticated than Su Min because she graduated from a famous university and is good with money. Mr. Kim, who likes Su Min, heard this and got upset because Mean One dumped her. The affair gossip reached HR and damaged the company's reputation on social media. Since Su Min wasn't a permanent employee, she got fired, and Mean One was threatened with a transfer. Meanwhile, Ji Wan was chatting with Mrs. Young when He Yan rushed in, saying they should go to the lobby because of a commotion. Then, a couple complained that the company didn't provide allergy labels for food testers at a mall. This caused a dangerous situation for customers with allergies. Suddenly, a lady said the assistant manager, Ji Wan, admitted her mistake. She apologized to the victims in a text message. Shortly after, G1 approached them, but got slapped. Even though it wasn't her fault, Mean One and Su Min had to take the blame. G1 discovered Su Min was the only one who could copy her handwriting. She got angry and yelled at Su Min. Su Min, packing her things, was shocked. G1 dragged her to the victim and told her to apologize. 
but Ji Won proved the message wasn't from her cause it was on Su Min's phone. At that time, Su Min knelt, crying, admitting she was under pressure, and apologized for her affair with Min Won, which led to her pregnancy. Min Won, hearing this, nearly fainted, realizing he had to take responsibility. That night, Min Won drank alone, troubled by his problems and calls from debt collectors, because his shares had declined. After coming back from work, he went to Su Min's house. She looked sad because the father of her baby didn't love her. She felt frustrated because Ji Won wasn't supporting her anymore. Su Min felt a bit happy when Min Won said he would propose to her. He promised a happy family and said he'd learn to love her. The next day, He Yan came over on Christmas Eve to have dinner together. Ji Won got a call from Uno, who wanted to take her on a trip. He planned to go ice skating and have fun that night. Ji Won made it clear they were just friends. Uno accepted that's what she wanted. They cleared up past misunderstandings, and Ji Won never rejected Uno before. When Ji Won arrived at the apartment courtyard, she spotted Ji Yuk and asked why he was outside in the cold. Ji Yuk said he just wanted some fresh air. Actually, he was waiting for Ji Won to come back and overheard her conversation with Uno. Ji Won then invited Ji Yuk to her apartment to talk. Inside, Ji Won confessed that she turned down Uno because she realized her feelings for Ji Yuk. They kissed, confirming Ji Yuk's earlier confession. At that time, Ji Won learned Ji Yuk was absent from work due to illness and decided to visit him. She used the access code he had given her, but got no response when she rang the doorbell. Worried, Ji Won entered and found Ji Yuk lying unconscious. She took him to the hospital, but he refused treatment. There he revealed he was the guy who chatted with Ji Won back in college. After Ji Won learned about something, she cried and hugged someone. Then she decided to take care of him, and they both fell asleep until morning. Ji Won was surprised and quickly went to the office. Ji Yuk then asked Ji Won to go out for the weekend. During their trip, she got a message from Mrs. Young that her husband got scolded by his parents for not working and just fooling around at home. Mrs. Young's father offered her a job at a restaurant. Soon after, they went to the beach and ate at a shop there. They talked and hugged while enjoying the beautiful beach view. Later that evening, Mrs. Young's father organized an event to promote her at his restaurant. The next day, Min Won and Su Min, along with their mother, were looking for a place for their wedding. It seemed that Su Min had met with Min Won's mother, and she agreed to accept Su Min as her daughter-in-law. They picked out things they needed for the wedding, even though Su Min didn't seem too happy about it. While Ji Won was working in the office, she got a message inviting her to Su Min and Min Won's wedding. She quickly sent the invitation to Ji Yuk, who secretly shared the news with their friends at work. When Min Won got home, he saw the email and got angry at Su Min, thinking she had sent out the invitations without telling him. Soon after, Min Won's mother called Su Min into the room. Since Ji Won and Ji Yuk were dating, they decided to spend more time together, either by staying at Ji Yuk's apartment or quietly working late at the office. Sometime later, Su Min and Min Won's wedding day finally happening. At that time, Su Min is wearing a dress chosen by her future in-laws. While taking a photo with Min Won's mom, a woman shows up who turns out to be Su Min's biological mother, which he thought was lost. At the same time, Ji Won arrives with Ji Yuk. When Ji Won sees Su Min on her big day, Su Min invites them for a photo, but Ji Won refuses and throws away a bag given by Min Won. She appreciates Su Min picking up the trash she should have thrown away. The wedding starts smoothly until Eun Ho shows up with his high school friends. They're upset because they were deceived by Su Min before and plan to get revenge, because she lied about Ji Won's true character. Chaos breaks out, and Min Won's mom ends up accidentally throwing her phone at Su Min. In the past, Ji Won and her father lived a simple life. Ji Won feels sorry for her father, who works hard without taking care of himself. They're often talked about by neighbors because her mother left to be with another man. Ji Won thought she found a friend in Su Min, but their friendship only made her feel worse. Now, Ji Won doesn't want to make the same mistakes again. She believes happiness will come eventually. The next day, when Ji Yuk and Ji Won returned from a date, they were surprised by a woman looking for Ji Yuk claiming to be his ex fiancee Ji Won starts to feel like her luck might not change, especially in love. It turns out Yu Ra was interested in Ji Yuk again because she didn't like hearing he was close to another woman. Ji Won learned that Mrs. Young had stomach cancer and rushed to take her for treatment. Mrs. Young wondered why Ji Won was so kind to her, and Ji Won hugged her while crying, thinking her bad luck had transferred to Mrs. Young. After dropping off Mrs. Young, Ji Won found out from Hee Young that their cooking project was in trouble 
because some chefs canceled their collaboration. She suspected Mr. Keem didn't accept it because Mrs. Hyung replaced him as assistant manager. Then Ji Gook admitted he got engaged to Yura due to family business. Ji Won wanted to leave, but Ji Yook gave her a business card for a cancer specialist to help Mrs. Hyung. Suddenly, Yura called Ji Won, accusing her of liking Ji Yook because he's the company hair, which could change Ji Won's life. Upon hearing Yu Ra's accusation, Ji Won denied it and apologized for not knowing about Ji Yuk's past engagement. Yu Ra's attitude seemed rude and temperamental, and she appeared to forgive Ji Won easily. At home, Ji Won continued to ponder her boss's fate and worried that Mrs. Young's household might fail like hers. Meanwhile, Su Min was on her honeymoon with Min Won, but it wasn't what she expected. She learned that Min Won canceled the house rental to get the deposit back. They ended up back at Mean One's parents' house. At that time, Mean One lied to his mother, blaming an insurance agent for cheating him. But his mother blamed Su Mean for not handling the situation. She regretted choosing Su Mean as her daughter in law. Unlike Ji Won, who often gave in, Su Mean didn't stay silent. She argued that she was innocent because Mean One's parents gave him the money to rent the house. But there, Mean One's mother underestimated Su Mean thinking she was just a contract employee trying to be part of Mean One's life. Su Min was frustrated with her home life and revealed she had a miscarriage because of Mean One's rudeness. However, she kept it a secret from her in-laws to avoid disappointing them. The next day, Su Min was shocked when she received a photo showing Ji Yuk and Ji Won together, along with the news that Ji Yuk was actually the heir to a big company. This surprised Su Min because Ji Yuk always seemed like a regular guy. She realized that Ji Won's words about trash were actually aimed at Mean One. In the evening, Su Min shared this revelation with Mean One, but it didn't change anything. Su Min had an idea that she decided to contact Ji Won's mother and tell her about her daughter's new relationship with a wealthy family. Su Min suspected that Ji Won's mother was only pretending to care, wanting to take advantage of her daughter, since she hadn't been in touch for years. On the other hand, G1 took her mother out for shopping, fancy food, and photo shoots. But when they got home, her mother accidentally mentioned something about Ji Yuk. G1 wasn't surprised cause she felt it confirmed her mother's true intentions. Later, G1 visited her father's grave, crying and pouring out her heart. When she returned, she was unaware that a truck driver seemed to be intentionally going to her way. Turns out, at that time, Su Min's father received orders from Yu Ra to do bad things to G1. But suddenly, Ji Yuk appeared and blocked a truck that was about to hit Ji Won's car. Turns out, six days earlier, Yu Ra secretly met Mean Won and planned to harm Ji Won because she believed Ji Won stole Ji Yuk from her. However, Mean Won refused and started investigating Ji Won and the people she associated with. Feeling deceived, Mean Won suspected Ji Won's boss was the one threatening him. After knowing all of that, he contacted Yu Ra, agreeing to work together. Yu Ra gave him money but with a condition that Mean One had to get rid of Ji Won. Yu Ra also revealed that Ji Won had a lot of money and assets, which she believed came from Ji Yuk. After hearing this, Su Min and Mean One planned something involving Su Min's father, who was still alive. One day, Su Min visited her father's shop, knowing he was struggling financially due to debts. Mean One seemed aware of Su Min's secret for a while. It turns out Su Min's father had an affair with Ji Won's mother years ago, and now they were living together. Su Min gave them money and instructed them to find a way to harm Ji Won. Ji Won's mother was deceived because Su Min claimed that if Ji Won died, her wealth would automatically transfer to Ji Won's biological mother. They planned to use a dump truck to hit Ji Won at a specific time. It seemed like an accident, but unbeknownst to Yu Ra, Ji Yuk was clever enough to investigate. He discovered Yu Ra's intentions towards Ji Won, as Yu Ra didn't want to lose what she had to someone else. In the present, a man instructed by Ji Yuk observes Ji Won returning home after visiting her father's grave. Ji Yuk orders the man to stop Ji Won from traveling again, fearing danger. However, the man's car breaks down while following Ji Won. Ji Yuk rushes to Ji Won's location after tracking her car. Along the way, he sends Ji Won a voice message expressing his affection and willingness to do anything for her. Then an accident happened. Yu Ra, upon hearing that Ji Yuk had an accident, orders Mean One and Su Min not to leave until she calls. Soon after, Mean One hurries to the hotel where Su Min and her parents are staying. There he finds Su Min furious and destructive. Mean One tries to reassure her, believing Yu Ra supports them. Su Min becomes more upset as her father chooses to run away. 
In the hospital, Ji Yuk undergoes a serious operation, and Ji Won waits with Hee Yun and her grandfather. The doctor comes out and explains they did their best, but they're unsure when Ji Yuk will wake up. Ji Won overhears Mr. Lee mentioning a truck driver related to Su Min and contacts Su Min to meet. During their meeting, Ji Won expresses her pent up anger. She doesn't understand why Su Min, who she tried to push away, always sticks around. Su Min initially acts clueless until Ji Won provokes her, revealing her true feelings, then they'd argue. Su Min admits she won't leave Ji Won because she doesn't want her to be happy. She confesses she's jealous of Ji Won's seemingly endless happiness. Su Min also reveals her mother's affair with Ji Won's father, which surprises Ji Won, though her feelings for Su Min remain unchanged. Ji Won invites Su Min to find happiness together until the end. Su Min couldn't believe what she heard and angrily blamed Ji Won as if Ji Won caused her life to fall apart. But there, Ji Won insisted that Su Min's actions led to her own problems. Despite leaving, Ji Won was determined to change fate for Su Min. Later, Ji Won went to the hospital and found Hee Yan taking care of Ji Yuk. Not wanting to burden Hee Yan further, Ji Won urged him to rest and take care of himself. Shortly after, Ji Won received a message from Mrs. Young, who was facing problems because her husband was having an affair. Ji Won realized that the troubles of her past seemed to have shifted to Mrs. Young. The following day, Ji Won remained in Ji Yuk's room, checking on his condition. She listened to the voice message he sent the night before, crying and pleading for him to wake up quickly. As Ji Yuk started showing signs of improvement, he was allowed to go home. Soon after, Ji Won took him home and planned to care for him all day. To gain Ji Won's attention, Ji Yuk pretended his hands still hurt, so he couldn't eat by himself. He asked Ji Won to stay overnight, and she agreed to ensure he didn't get into trouble. The next day, Ji Won pondered Mrs. Young's husband's infidelity and resolved to help her escape her unfortunate situation. She assisted the police in catching Mrs. Young's husband cheating. This event mirrored Ji Won's own past experiences. Upon returning home, Ji Won found red heels, which belonged to Su Min at her doorstep. When Ji Won managed to enter Mrs. Young's husband's apartment, it turned out there was no evidence of him being unfaithful, as his mistress confessed she was only delivering food. As Ji Won was about to leave Mrs. Young to talk with her husband, she smashed a glass table with a golf club to prevent Mrs. Young from facing a fate similar to her own. After Mrs. Young confronted her husband and poured out her heart, she was pushed and fell. Fortunately, she wasn't harmed by the broken glass table. After dealing with matters at the police station, Ji Won advised Mrs. Young not to meet her husband alone and offered to help whenever needed. Unexpectedly, Mr. Lee arrived with Ji Yuk and offered to accompany Mrs. Young to meet her lawyer. There, Ji Yuk assured Ji Won not to worry about Mr. Lee, as he was trustworthy. However, Ji Won was puzzled by Mrs. Young's case, which was slightly different from her own experiences. After understanding what she needed to do, Ji Won decided to seduce Mean Won and manipulate him into thinking about harming his wife to save her mistress. She did that so that Mrs. Young won't die. Ji Yuk, upon hearing this, entrusted everything to Ji Won and offered his help if needed. The next day, they put their plan into action. Ji Won wore the red heels Su Min had given her and went to the office as usual. She and Ji Yuk staged a scene, pretending to break up because Ji Won was only interested in Ji Yuk's wealth. Mean Won overheard and believed the act. That evening, Ji Won seduced Mean Won by inviting him to drink together. She told him about the treasures she possessed, claiming they were all gifts from Ji Yuk's grandfather, with the condition that Mean Won cut ties with Ji Yuk. Upon hearing that, Mean Won fell for it. In reality, Ji Won asked Mean Won to leave Su Min and return to her. At that time, Mean Won was taken aback by Ji Won's words. He believed that he could control the wealth Ji Won possessed if they reunited. Upon returning home, Mean Won informed Su Min that their marriage had to end. At that time, Su Min realized Mean Won was returning to Ji Won. Previously, Mr. Kim had warned Su Min about this possibility. Meanwhile, Bun Ho found himself confused when the restaurant he worked at suddenly closed. As he tried to reach his boss, Yu Ra emerged from the restaurant. It turned out Yu Ra had persuaded her boss to sell the restaurant to her for double the price. She offered Unho a job, promising to make the restaurant his if he agreed. That evening, Unho met Hian and revealed he was now unemployed. Hian recalled that her project was struggling due to a shortage of chefs. The following day, Unho met Ji Won at the office to discuss work. During their conversation, 
Unho mentioned the woman he met who offered him a job. Upon hearing this, Ji Won hurried to inform Ji Yuk. Ji Yuk, understanding the situation, secretly met with Yu Ra's assistant to gather information from her side. He promised to take down Nura Sunum. After careful consideration, Yu Ra's assistant agreed to cooperate with Ji Yuk. Through her, Ji Yuk discovered Yu Ra's plan to harm Su Min and Ji Won's parents. He instructed the assistant to purchase a pair of red heels identical to Ji Won's. It became apparent that they also kidnapped Su Min's father and Ji Won's mother, placing them in a car filled with poisonous gas. Meanwhile, in her office, Ji Won was startled by threatening behavior from Min Won, who felt offended when Ji Won canceled their date at the last minute. Her fear intensified when the office lights suddenly went out, prompting her to hide under her desk. At that moment, Min Won found Ji Won and started chasing her. He said some really mean things, even suggesting that Ji Won deserved to be hurt. Ji Won bravely told Min Won to do whatever he wanted to her. This made Min Won even angrier, and he started to choke Ji Won until she passed out. Luckily, Ji Yuk arrived just in time to rescue Ji Won. There, Ji Yuk hit Min Won and made sure Ji Won was okay. There was a big fight between them, and it all ended when the police arrived. Ji Yuk was with Ji Won at the hospital, while Min Won was taken by the police. Ji Won is now being taken care of by Mrs. Young. Ji Yuk and Min Won don't seem to get along anymore. Min Won warned Ji Yuk not to trust Ji Won because he believed she caused all the trouble. After getting out of jail, Ji Yuk was let go, but Min Won wasn't. He didn't think it was fair and got really upset, saying he was being treated unfairly because Ji Yuk had a higher position. Ji Yuk then told Mr. Lee to fire Min Won for hurting a co worker. Later, he went to check on Ji Won, who was getting better. He saw her blaming herself and feeling really sad. He comforted her and told Mrs. Young to go home too, as she wasn't feeling well either. Meanwhile, Su Min went to see Yu Ra. She was worried about what might happen, especially since her dad disappeared and Min Won was going to divorce her. Su Min threatened Yu Ra with a recording where Yu Ra told her dad to run away after hurting Ji Won. But Su Min's dad couldn't be found. Yu Ra then asked her assistant to check if Su Min's dad was dead or not. Min Won called asking Yu Ra for help as he was at the police station. The next day, Min Won got out of trouble with Yu Ra's help. Soon after, Mr. Lee called him to say that the papers about him getting fired were sent to his home. When he got there, a big man was waiting for him, who seemed to be there to collect debts for credit cards and other things. Meanwhile, Chairman Yu and Yu Ra were playing a game called Jonggi together. Shortly after, Ji Won came over and said he was going to bring his girlfriend to meet his grandpa. Yu Ra said goodbye seeming eager to avoid Ji Won. It seems like Ji Yuk and Ji Won have a plan. Ji Yuk asked Su Min to meet him. He said that Min Won and Ji Won had a relationship, and he wanted Su Min to help charge them with something called adultery. Ji Yuk just wants Ji Won to come back to him. The next day, Su Min went to Ji Won's office. She got really mad and tried to attack Ji Won. But Ji Won stayed calm, acting like she was Min Won's girlfriend. Then Su Min called Ji Yuk to agree on what he promised the night before. Meanwhile, Min Won went to Yu Ra's house to talk about Su Min. He gave her a form for an insurance claim from his deceased partner, which was worth a lot of money. He planned to kill Su Min and get the insurance money. If he succeeded, Yu Ra would benefit too because no one would bother her anymore. Min Won just wanted Yu Ra to clean up all the evidence if he managed to kill Su Min. Suddenly, Su Min got a message from Ji Yuk saying that Ji Won and Min Won were at a hotel. She hurried there and found them talking about insurance in case she died. But the woman having an affair with her husband wasn't Ji Won, it was Yu Ra. Su Min tried to take a picture for evidence, but Yu Ra's assistant stopped her. But then, Su Min fainted, and it turned out they were planning to kill her. Turns out Yu Ra had set up a place and told Min Won to go there to harm someone. The next day, Su Min woke up tied up in an unfamiliar place. She realized her life was in danger. Su Min felt frustrated and kept struggling until Min Won left to cut the gas hose in the house. When he came back, Su Min had freed herself and held a knife to Min Won. They fought fiercely. Su Min revealed that she had never been pregnant. As Su Min was about to stab him, Min Won suddenly got up and charged at her. Finally, Su Min grabbed a glass and smashed it on Min Won. She pushed him onto a glass table, which killed him instantly. The next day at the office, Ji Yuk was told by Mr. Lee about Mrs. Young's divorce case which seemed to be happening because of evidence of her affair. Shortly after, Ji Won and Ji Yuk went to Min Won's funeral. At that time, 
Min Wen's mother blamed Ji Won for her son's affair with Su Min, which led to their marriage. Since then, Su Min has been on the run. She showed up at Ji Won's apartment, seemingly planning to harm him. Meanwhile, the police questioned Yu Ra for her crimes, but she was released a few hours later using money and power. However, she was arrested again later. Ji Yuk brought in Su Min's father as a witness and perpetrator in an incident where Su Min's father and Ji Won's mother almost died from gas poisoning. They were also detained for their crimes. A few days later, Yu Ra was released but couldn't leave Seoul because the investigation wasn't over. Her assistant gave her a ticket to go abroad to isolate herself for a while. While driving alone to the airport, Yu Ra was speeding and got into an accident. The next day, Ji Yuk and Ji Won were shocked to hear about Yu Ra's death. Some time later, He Yun and Unho found happiness together and decided to start dating. They celebrated Mrs. Young's release from the hospital after her successful cancer surgery. Meanwhile, Su Min was seen buying fuel, planning to harm Ji Won by breaking into her apartment. Shortly after, Su Min paralyzed Ji Won with a stun gun and tied her up. But when Su Min poured liquid around Ji Won's room, she woke up. She tried to get Su Min to confess to killing Min Won. Su Min didn't realize Ji Won had installed a CCTV camera. Afterward, Ji Won easily freed herself and fought Su Min using self defense techniques she learned from Ji Yuk. That night, Su Min was arrested. Soon after, Ji Won invited Ji Yuk to meet for the first time. During their meeting, Ji Won asked Ji Yuk to marry her. Their dream came true when Ji Yuk proposed to her with flowers and a beautiful ring. They had a grand wedding party attended by all their loved ones. Now, Ji Won and Ji Yuk live happily together as a family. The series ends. The moral lesson from this series is always make sure to install CCTV cameras in your room, because you never know when you'll need evidence to catch a crazy woman.